good platform benefit, um, and that is Windows Phone 8 will include what we think will be the most complete wallet experience on any smartphone this fall. Well, let me tell you a little bit about what I mean and why we think this is going to be the most complete wallet experience. If you think about the goal of a wallet on a phone, our new wallet hub probably has the same goal as any other wallet on any other phone, which is to effectively replace the physical wallet that you might have in your pocket. And that physical wallet does a number of things. It stores your credit cards and your debit cards. It stores your membership cards, you know, your AAA or your frequent flyer. It stores things like coupons. It lets you take them out and pay for things. Our wallet does all of that. It both integrates third-party services into the wallet experience when you install a third-party app. So you have one place to go to see account balances, to see your frequent flyer information, or to pull a coupon out to redeem it. it integrates that via a third-party app API. It also supports secure NFC payments. So if you have a phone with an NFC chip built in, and in our case, a SIM from your mobile operator that has a secure element, a, we call this a secure SIM, a secure SIM enables your phone to be scanned at point of sale so that you can use those cards in your wallet to make purchases and payments. Our wallet spans the full range of scenarios, including secure payment to third-party scenarios like your frequent flyer card. And one of the things that's interesting about this, as this area has developed within the smartphone face, sorry, within the smartphone area, we've seen Google with their wallet enable secure NFC payments by putting the secure element in the device. And an unfortunate side effect for that has been that some mobile operators have chosen to remove the Google wallet because the mobile operators themselves want to provision those secure elements and enable their customers to maintain their secure payment instruments as they move from one phone to the next. In general, the, the mobile operators prefer the model of a secure element on the SIM. And in many ways, that's better for end users too because it means easy transition from one phone to the next. Our model works with mobile operators to deliver secure element on the SIM, and that's different than Google's model. Like Apple's model, our wallet also provides for integration with third-party apps and services. I'm going to give you a demo of this, so everything I'm describing is going to make more sense when you see the real code in action. But before I get to that, I do want to transition over and let you hear firsthand from our lead mobile operator partner on Wallet, and that is Orange in France. Orange has been a pioneer in this area working on Wallet, and we've been partnering deeply with Orange to make sure we have the right technology and the right service infrastructure to deliver an experience that will be delightful for end users. So let's cut to a video of Yves Metra from Orange talking about our wallet. We have been the first one in Europe to deploy the NFC transaction system. You guys, you have been able to put in the same experience something very easy and very convenient for customers. You have also been capable to align your solution with a GSMA recommendation. And more important, you provide with a SIM secure element of operator an incredible secure solution. Wallet Hub solution is exactly what developer needs in order to provide our customers a very friendly and a very safe journey towards their mobile transaction. Wallet Hub Secure SIM solution is really the next step of the future mobile phone transaction. Let me wrap this up by describing how this wallet experience will come to market in terms of timing. First, every Windows phone will include the Wallet Hub. And whether your mobile operator has secure SIMs available or not, you still get all the benefit of third-party apps and services integrating with a wallet. Orange will be the first to market with secure SIMs at launch uh, on the Orange network. And we're working with a number of other mobile operators as well to get that same wallet experience on their networks. But they'll come later in time. In particular, I know many of you will have questions about the US. Um, as you know, AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile have a joint effort in ISIS that 
defines how they do wallets and payments. We've been working together closely with ISIS. We're making good progress technically, and we expect to have a solution on ISIS sometime next year, but not at launch. This is the kind of thing that will come online over time as it requires mobile operators to build back-end services that match. We have great relationships, and we expect to see that fill out over the course of next year.